What's going on guys? Yanni from 801 Garage here. Um, and today, a few of you have been asking me how to install apps on the actual head unit. Um, you guys were awesome and I've got tons of views from you guys on that uh, Honda Hack video. So thank you guys so much for your support on that one. Um, but most of you guys watched that one and you were like, okay, so in that one you mentioned you could install outside apps and not just the ones that come included with that. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to demonstrate it today with the tune review um, apps and so many of you guys are interested in it. Now, unfortunately on 2018s, this one's still not available. Um, there's something with the head unit that I'll explain kind of later on in the video and it'll make more sense that it doesn't work. So mine, unfortunately, is also an 18. So I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to do it. But when we get to actually turning on the app, um, I'll just have to walk you through it since I won't be able to show you since mine's not available yet. Um, but the process is exactly the same for doing any other APK that you want to install in there as well. So let's get started. All right, so this is the website. Um, it's on civicx.com, um, but this is the thread that I got my um, APK from. So I'm gonna go ahead and link this down below, but all we're going to do is click on this link right here, um, and then you're going to download your APK here to a flash drive. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that into my car, and then from there we'll keep going. Um, if you have any questions, you're always welcome to ask me in the comments, but this is also a really good read. Um, I definitely recommend that you read this article, but if you read this and you're still unsure about some stuff, then hit me up in the comments down below. So let's get over to the car. All right, guys. So now that we're in the car, um, I'm just going to turn it on and I'm going to be using the USB port that's in the cup holder. So I'll just move this back. I'll unplug what's in here. Turn off that air real quick. I'll die of heat stroke for you guys just so I can show you this. Okay, so we're gonna go home and we're going to be using the Honda installer. So to get in here, Honda installer right there. So first I'm gonna plug in my USB drive. Again, I'm just plugging in plugging it in right there. And so now I'm gonna go to Honda installer. Install an app. Whoop, wrong one. There we go. So we're gonna click right there, <clears throat> scroll down. When you find one that says USB drive two. And so here's everything that's on our um, disk drive. So then we're just gonna click on Tuner View Light App, or sorry, Tuner View APK. And then it's just gonna install. And then I'll come back to you guys as soon as it's done. All right, so now when it's done, it's gonna say installation completed successfully. Please restart the head unit. So we're gonna click okay. And remember to restart the head unit, all you gotta do is hold the audio button for five seconds. I guess it's not really a button, but just hold down the audio um, portion for five seconds. Do you wanna reboot? Yes. So our restart is complete. So now we're gonna go into our app menu again. And then there we go, Tuner View Lite. I'm actually gonna put this out on my um, front screen. So let's turn that over here. All right, so now when we click here, we can open the actual app. And here's what we look like. Okay, so next, what we do need to do is just connect to our um, actual K-Tuner through Bluetooth, and then we're solid. So next step is we're back in the car, and this part is only for the, if you have the 1.2 um, K-Tuner. If you have the V2, you can just do all this from your touchscreen. But for the V1.2, um, what you're going to have to do is come into your um, software, make sure that you're plugged into your... K tuner and that you have the car on in accessory mode. So you're gonna come in here, go into the tuning menu, click on V.1, sorry, V1.2 special commands, and go to disable BT pin code. And then it's gonna say, Are you sure? I'm gonna go yes. For this portion now, what you're gonna do is just in your main screen, mine might look a little bit different than yours just because I have a different skin on it. Um, I can show you guys how to do that too if you want, but in here you just go into settings 
and then you'll go into Bluetooth Wi-Fi. And then from in here, you can just go to Bluetooth device list. And then you'll go to add a Bluetooth device. And it'll search it, just hit continue. And then from here, it's gonna pop up with the K-Tuner V1 right there. K-Tuner Flash V1. Um, I know yours is the version 1.2, but it'll just say V1 on there. Um, and then here, you'll go ahead and click on this um, and it'll connect to it. Now, again, for the 2018s, this is the part that makes it so it doesn't work for the 2018s. Because something for the new update um, on the 2018s made it so that the car, for some reason, does this. Um, because it can't pair with something through Bluetooth that's not a phone. And that's what they're trying to figure out right now. But if you have the 16 or 17s, right there is where it should have connected just fine. And then you would be able to go home and go into your uh, Tuner View app and then just connect to it and then it'll start working just like normal. And then once this loads, so how you actually connect this, this is the part that everybody has a hard time with and I get asked a bunch of questions on because most people they'll install it and they just get a bunch of zeros, right? So now what you do is you need to swipe in from the left. Whoop, there we go. And then that will bring up the menu. So at the top, we're gonna click connect. And then I'm gonna click on auto connect, scan for devices. Cause now it's gotta find our, um, our actual plugin for our K tuner. All right guys, so there's how you install it. There's the video. Um, and now you can go in and the same place that we hit the connect button, you can go through and mess with all the settings. Um, there's tons of different like gauge configurations. And if there's ever any gauge that you want to change what it says, you can just click and hold on it and change what that gauge is. Super cool program. I'm actually so excited to be able to use it eventually. They're currently still working on um, the 18s. That same exact page I linked you to on where you find the APK, if you go down in the comments, you can keep up with the discussion on where they're at with the 18 so far. Um, and as soon as they get it working, I'm going to be using it as well. Um, so lucky for you guys that are in the 16, 17 club, you can use it. It's just because, like I said earlier in the video, um, just because of that weird not being able to connect Bluetooth through something that's not a phone that they put in the 18s. I don't know why. They decided they had to mess with it. Um, but unfortunately, because of that, us with the 2018s can't use it yet. It's coming soon, I hope. I have no idea when. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Um, so I have no idea when they'll be able to pump it out. But keep up with the discussion on there, and hopefully we can all use it soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once more, this is Yanni from 801 Garage. I'll see you guys next time.